Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Pattern Company YouTube channel. My name is Paige and I work on the social team for Friday Pattern Company and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the Saturday skirt set top omitting the collar so that it is more of a v-neck tie up kind of wrap around top. I'm really excited, I've been wanting to make this project for ages. I'm going to use this really gorgeous fabric. I think this is a crepe, but it was in one of the Friday Pattern Company fabric drops uh, last year, I believe. And I'm finally going to use it, so excited. The hack itself is actually really simple to do. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I do to the pattern pieces in order to omit the collar and give it that nice clean edge on the front of the top. And I'll leave any further details that I mention in the description box below for you guys as well. So let's get started. The two pattern pieces that we're going to modify is the top front A and then the front facing C. So I'm going to pop those to one side for a second. You're also going to be using the uh, tie extension number E, the sleeve which is G, the top back which is B and then the back facing which is D so we can put those to one side for a second. It will be helpful if you have some kind of big ruler, it doesn't matter if it's a pattern drafting ruler like this one, just a big ruler would be helpful and all you're going to do is on this front top front piece you can see that it has this kind of corner on the neckline and then it goes straight down this piece here is what would connect to your collar pattern piece and because we don't want that we actually want to take from your inside seam of your shoulder on your neckline down to where this tie front piece starts. You're going to put your ruler on a diagonal angle like so. Grab yourself a pen. And I'm going to try and do it so it's as organic as possible with the line. And then just draw that down like so. To make my life easier as well and to save paper, I'm not going to cut this. I'm actually just going to fold it because it is a straight line. You can just fold this piece back. And there we have our new pattern piece. Now the facing is going to work a little bit differently and you would like, you may need to have some scrap paper for this or you can do it directly on the fabric. However, for this video, I'm going to show it um, on a scrap piece of paper. So whenever I cut out patterns, I always keep the excess pattern paper that I don't use because it's handy for projects like this. Now what I would do Lay your front facing matching up to your front, top front. Fold back the pattern piece to match that new edge that you created, like so. But now you can see, if that's obviously taken away, you don't actually have much left of this facing. So we need to essentially braid this section out of the facing and to do that we will take a scrap piece of paper first I'm just going to stick these down and it also means that I can reuse this pattern again for the the, um, the Saturday, uh, Saturday skirt set without having to recut it just tape it on there like this just hold it in place this is how I graded it out, so I used a ruler and it was about 5 centimeters away from the uh, neckline edge that I wanted to grade it and then I cut it out and that was my new pattern piece that I could um, cut out of my fabric. So here is our new facing piece and then here is our top front, so we've taken off that little corner and this should then match up as well perfectly and we've added a little bit extra as well to that facing. So now we can go ahead and cut it out as per the instructions onto our fabric. As for the sewing steps, it is pretty much exactly the same as it would be if you were making the collared version. So you start off by hemming the back piece 
and then you uh, put together your tie pieces um, right sides together and once you have those you can make a start on your facings um, by sewing your shoulder seams from your front and back pieces together first then doing the same process for your facings and then in the same way as the instructions for the standard version with the collar you put your facing on to your front neckline like so but this you know just omitting the collar from being sandwiched in between and then you pin your facing to the body of the top and top stitch that down then you can sew in your sleeves and finish the top as per the instructions but it's so cute and it's such an easy hack to do i hope you love this finished look of this tutorial let me know in the comments if you're going to be making it for yourself i made it here with some matching saguaro shorts and i cannot wait to wear this to a festival next week i hope you love this tutorial let me know in the comments if you'd like to see any other sewing hacks and i'll see you next time bye